Kareem Mayfield, good catching up with you. How you been, bro? What's been up with you? Oh man, I've been chilling, bro. Like you know, uh, just taking care of business. Uh, I've um, since the last time you see me, I, I promoted two fights now under my own banner, hard hitter promotions. How'd that go for you? Um, it went well. I sold out these show at the Five Star Fair in my hotel. I had my city, um, San Francisco uh, mayor, come through um, each time to the events. Yeah. And then um, I've been actually promoting comedy shows. I just seen a homie DC Young Fly in there. Yeah. I did a show with him uh, several months ago. But nevertheless, uh, man, I just been doing that. I'm actually in the process of opening the cannabis club um, in, in, in March, um, in the mid March. So I'm uh, called Authentic 415. You know, I represent 415 all day, baby. So you with that cannabis CBD movement, cannabis huh? Cannabis CBD movement, you know, health and wellness, helping people get rid of anxiety, helping people get rid of chronic pain or whatever you may have, you know, and helping people get away, get off, off um, you know, it's an alternative from opioids. Hey, I appreciate you, and it's great that. Aside that you were in a fire, just caught up and stay, hanging around boxing, you know, you, you expanded yourself. Indeed. But is the deep, the passion of fight, is it still there? The passion of fight is still certainly there. You know, um, if you've seen any of my fights, man, I've always put up a good fight. Uh, hard hitter Mayfield ain't never been beat up, battered, or bruised, right? Man, we know, this is kind of old news, but they've been ducking me for a long time, man. Yeah. You know, I, hey, man, Spence. He didn't duck me, you know what I mean? I, I didn't see, I didn't, people, done, people know, people have seen text messages, man. Yeah. Uh, Porter, he didn't duck me. Shouts out to all these fighters, though, they hitters, you know what I mean? But yeah. again, let's say they team duck me, because I know fighters ain't scared to fight nobody. Team gotcha. duck me, though, but uh, my brother. Hey, what's up, baby, remember? Hey, yeah. the champ there, right, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, bro? You doing? With Pops. Man, chilling, bro. Hey, 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 Okay. Um, I'm trying to catch up with you. All right. Now, yeah. uh, what do you think of the welterweight division today? Crawford, Porter, Spence, Thurman, Pacquiao. Who, man, who stands the, out the to you? The welterweight division is loaded, man. And you know, um, to be honest, uh, the, the top two that stand uh, stood out to me was actually um, it's Spence and um, Crawford. And of course, Crawford. I mean, you know, listening to Spence last interview, he didn't sound too well. I'm just hoping that he takes his time and don't try to rush in there. Yeah. You know, sound a little slurred. Could have been meds. Could have been a head injury. That, just, head, that car accident is a, a mental thing to get over, you think, or physical? It is, and you want to see how what happens once you actually get in the ring and take a punch when your head gets rocked to see how it actually feels. So, you know, um, uh, one guy who come back, a guy you know well through sparring with Pat, Manny Pacquiao, right. he beat Thurman. That was almost unexpected. Yeah, that was very unexpected. Young fighter against an old fighter, veteran against an uh, um, uh, up and coming champion, and it was definitely unexpected. So, I mean, it show you anybody can get it, man. But you know what I mean? I who I've been looking, keeping an eye on. They just asked me to fight him um, uh, just about uh, two months ago. His name is uh, Ennis uh, Boots. Yeah, oh yeah, and, uh, Jason Ennis Boots. I mean, they offered a hundred grand. I wasn't turning down and down, down but my collar, goddamn it. They offered yeah. me a hundred, right? I'm like, out the gate. And they gave me six weeks. That's I'm like, oh yeah, let's do this. Like but, everybody know that I'm the three week notice guy. They right. give me two, three week notice, you know what I mean? So any L's you see on there, look at the date when I got the fight, goddammit. Yeah. And I still wasn't beat up out of the roof, right? Yeah. But nevertheless, uh, in this boost, me checking them out, right? Me getting prepared to fight them. I had about two weeks notice. Six six weeks, but two weeks until I found out he wouldn't fight me. I'm checking the dude out. I'm like, oh he nice. I liked him, right? But you know my style, man, Pitbull. Coming in to shake Dobermans and all that up, right? And he reminded me of a nice little sweet little, little, little Doberman, you know what I mean? Yeah. Little, you know what I mean? But again, um, you know, uh, he's an up and coming fighter that I see that's that's a good look. Um, that looks to be in the scene real soon. Right, so you are eyeing a comeback though, it's in your heart? I am. I'm already eyeing a comeback 2020, comeback of the year, man. Kareem Hall hit a Mayfield, man. Check it out, man. Hey, on everything. And um, I mean, the last time I was in, like, let me see that. I'm still in the mix, right? You know, I'm, I still go to Andre Ward Gym here and there. You know, it's a lot of top athletes there, top fighters there. And um, I mean, last time I was, uh, last time I was in uh, Vegas, uh, it's been a while. I, I gave Yugis some work. I gave Yugis. I got, I got, yeah. I got Porter ready. For, I got Yugis ready for Porter. Yeah. People are like, whoa, who? How did he? Man, Mayfield got him ready for Porter, bro. Yeah, I didn't know that. Thing. Yeah, hell yeah. It was only like, it was only me and this one other Latin cat that the staff wasn't like uh, conducive. You lost another good fighter. That dude was coming up. Yeah. Your Dennis, you guys. Oh yeah, yeah. Another yeah. tough fighter. Lucas, yeah, I like definitely. Like, he's actually fighting my homeboy tomorrow. Yeah, uh, Mike, Mike Dallas. Dallas yeah. Shout out to Mike Dallas too. Yeah, shout out to Mike Dallas, man. It's a tough fight, but I mean, it's a tough game. So do your thing, man. Appreciate you.